Sorry. When you're reading. That's, that's worse because I'm a geek. <laughs> um, and because I'm a geek, I like things like augmented reality. Mm. Now, it's a big thing. And, of course, you've heard of it because it's, it's been on our phones for years, a very limited sort of, of AR. But, it's a fa again, it's just a weird thing that just adds things into what you actually see. Yeah, it's a new form of technology that superimposes computer-generated images on the user's view of the world, like on a phone screen or with special glasses. Now, one of the most amazing things about it is the way it can be used. <laughs> it's all well and good for us just getting it on your phone yeah. and just having a bit of fun with it. But how it can actually be used then to assist people who've got sensory and neurodiverse illnesses to actually see and understand conversations around them. Well, joining us now is the CEO of X-Ray Glass, Dan Scarf. Well, oh, hello, good hello, morning. Hello, I'm here yeah, and I'm sporting said glasses. <laughs> All right, oh, so wow. what, how, what are they? How do they work? So effectively what we've got, as you mentioned, is a set of augmented reality glasses. So these are glasses that look just like normal sunglasses, but these are magic glasses. So <laughs> actually what I'm now seeing is subtitles of exactly what I'm saying in real time right in front of me. Really? <laughs> yes. Now, how do you get the technology for that to work? So, effectively, there's an app that runs on the phone, which you can see here. So, this is actually what's doing all of the clever work here. So, this is taking the audio that's being heard around and turning it into subtitles and then projecting that into the glasses. So, so who would this benefit? So, we initially started Can I out... try these? Of by course, way. by all means, yes. Because the, 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 these are the, this is the only pair in existence, isn't it? Oh, no, these oh, are... Oh, you've got a few Yeah, of these. yeah, these are... Uh, we've got... These are... Uh, I'm, I'm going to take my glasses off. And so I'll... these are actually commercially available glasses, so we don't make these glasses. This particular pair is made by a company called Enreal. Uh, there are also pairs made by TCL. There are also pairs made by Rokid. Uh, and our software, effectively, is compatible with all of those glasses. So you've just got to get hold of a compatible set of glasses, download our app, and have life subtitles. Ooh. What wow. can you see in your glasses? Well, well I'll, you can have a go in a sec, but it, it is basically, it's like you're seeing the bottom of the phone screen with the with the, just the words coming up. Um, I'll tell you what's got to be an issue with this, so let me pass them over to Miss Costello. Thank um, you. It's because we, we, a lot of us have tried this sort of dictation software. And yes, things. it's yep. getting that technology right. Exactly is, right. Uh, yeah. But that's yeah. re, that's really accurate. Ooh. So we support uh, a number of different providers. So right now you're using a service from Amazon. So that's what's actually doing the transcription. Right. We also support Microsoft. We also support DeepGram. We also support offline models. So uh, as well as letting people choose the right glasses for them, we also let them choose the right transcription provider for them, one that works for them. So what, what else does this... I mean, because th th this is one, one sort of, in a way, one more, a more basic sort of use of this mm -hmm. technology. Yes. What else could it do in the future, moving so forward? So in the bottom right, you'll see a little hamburger icon. If you just click on that, that one, one yeah. and oh, yeah. then on the right-hand side, you should then be able to see the language that you would like it to translate oh, right. into. So if you now click on that one... Oh, and so then the sub said, uh, subtitle language. It. So now pick oh, a different you, language. So you can have Azerbaijani. There we go. Oh. So now, hopefully, if the technology is working, then everything that I'm saying should now oh, be yes. getting translated We've into had a different Azerbaijani language. Yeah. in real time. It's literally like watching the TV when you've got subtitles on, but everything that you're saying is comes up almost in perfect timing. It's so just the slightest delay. Less than the second is our, is our target for this. Yes. So this is... Are you a geek? I used to be a geek. So, so I'm a thinking... A retired geek. I'm a retired geek. <laughs> no, so I'm thinking Star Trek translators... Yes. That, that is why everyone on Star Trek appears to speak English, because it's all being live translated in the, in the sci-fi world. Yes. That's this. Yes, that's to an this. extent. Yeah, but we can actually go one step beyond that as well. So we've actually got your own personal assistant built into this software as well. Oh, so wow. I don't know whether I've put the key in, in in my phone, but you at any point can say, "Hey, X-ray, can you summarise this conversation for me, please?" Wow. And it will then go off, and it will then commun communicate with ChatGPT. It will then take your entire conversation and then provide a summary to you. Or you might so it's say... it's like the minutes from a meeting. Exactly right, yes. Amazing. Or you might say, um, hey, X-Ray, I had no idea what they were just talking about. Can you please give it to me in a slightly more easy-to-understand format? And it will then take that conversation, you know, perhaps you've been at a, a doctor's surgery and they've given you a whole bunch of medical stuff that you don't really understand what it's talking about. With this, you could just ask X-Ray what, yeah. what was it that they were actually Now, that's interesting. About. So is that what they call... I don't want to get too technical for people watching and listening, but these large language models 
models, exactly, which no. is what Microsoft Bing has just started using, yes. and they're meant to be bringing out to Google, where you can literally ask questions in a much more normal way. And that is the exact same technology we're using. So we're using Microsoft's service, the same one that Bing uses. It's called ChatGPT by OpenAI. And that is the service that we are communicating with. I mean, the possibilities wow. for this are absolutely incredible, aren't they? I mean, not only for people who are hard of hearing or deaf, but yep. also in the classroom. I mean, if yep. you are somebody who struggles to make notes or to keep up in class, I mean, I'm yep. literally seeing a copy yep. of every... And then you'd have the ability to have it as a set of notes. And that's why it's quite interesting, because, again, we started with the deaf and the hard of hearing, but actually mm. with this ability to be able to refer back to the notes, with this ability to be able to ask questions, actually now, all of a sudden, this is a benefit to anyone with a whole range of neurodiverse conditions. You look mm. at ADHD, dyslexia, dyspraxia, APD, anyone that struggles to understand information. So we initially started out helping people here mm. now we're moving to helping people understand yeah wow you could so, see it rolled out in classrooms oh yeah or lectures you really could yes we believe so, such a useful that. tool yeah. so, so where next for this because this is i mean i mean it's is this sort of a, a, a product now that you want to sort of keep on polishing, as it were, and keep evolving? Yes. So, I mean, the, the basic transcription and translation we've, we've yeah. done now yeah. and will continue to add more languages and, and improve it. But the personal assistant is really where we think we can continue to add some incredible value. Um, so, again, this always with you, always on the whole time, mm. this ability to be able to summon this this. I don't even know what you would describe this thing as, this, this virtual assistant. You need uh, to get a name for it then, don't we do. you? Well, it's got, she's got, he, she, it is called uh, X-Ray, of course, our X-Ray assistant. But yes, perhaps we should... Uh, Maybe call it her. Ellie. Ellie. Oh, well, no, don't go. get carried away. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not get carried away. Um, do, you know, do you know what, though? Oh. It's really good. Sorry, darling, no. to interrupt. Um, chat, G, 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 C, 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 P, T. G, P, T. G, P, T. Yes. It, there's been so many negative stories Ooh. about it in the media in the past few yep. weeks, especially when it comes to the classroom. It's actually quite refreshing to hear something positive where it could actually really, really help people. Yes, uh... As you say, it's, it's incredible to be able to use that technology for good and to mm. actually have it benefit people. And yes, of course, there are, are dangers and concerns with, with artificial intelligence. It's something that we need to be acutely aware of. But in a package like this, hopefully it's something that people can at least understand and, you know... I'll tell you one. what I like about it, because there, <clears throat> there are advantages, you know, that we could all get out of this. But like for those people who are, you know, we use the term neurodiverse, you're thinking of, of you know... Things like autism and all these sort of things where people process things differently. Yes. Right. The fact that this has the potential, at least, to bring everyone up to a level playing field. Mm hmm Well, this, again, is the irony, is um, when we created this for the deaf and, and hard of hearing, we're actually giving them superpowers. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. someone wearing this all of a sudden is more capable than, you know, someone without wearing it. And that's what's really, really exciting about yeah. this. Yeah. What, what, what started you off in, in this? I mean, what prompted you to start developing? Well, there was a funny story, actually. So um, there were two founders. I was in Canada. Uh, one of our other founders was in Seattle. My granddad was 96 at the time and had lost almost all of his hearing. Oh. Uh, Paul, our chief product officer, it was his dad who had lost his hearing. And we both came up with almost the exact same idea at the exact same time of real-time subtitles. And by complete fluke, we both happened to know the same person. We both pitched the same idea to the same person. And he was like, well, maybe you two should talk to each other. And, Isn't that interesting? Uh, so that was the, you know, the... The marvel of social media and the yeah. internet that, you know, two people on the other side of the planet found each other with the same idea at the same time and went ahead and... Where's your other co-founder from? Uh, he's from Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Uh, and then there were six other um, co-founders as well, so there were quite a few of us. Um, right. Tim Scarf, Keith Duggar, Jackie Press, Mitchell Feldman, uh, myself and Paul and Mike Van Klink as our FD, oh. and there's another four of us now as well, right. so we're, we're growing every day. A well, meeting look, of minds. Do you Wonderful. know, I just, I just find it so fascinating, and you sort of think this is the first step in something that at the end of the day... We will all have. Oh, what have you got there? And I couldn't help but... Oh, yes. So we were super excited last night, in fact. Can you see it oh, there? last night. Last night to win uh, the National Technology Award Tech Startup of the Year. Wow. So oh, that was good on you. Quite incredible. Well, and uh, the app is available. You don't need the glasses to use it. So if you want to experience it without the glass, just go onto Apple Store or Google Store, download the app and use it. Yeah, well, brilliant stuff.
Um, I, yes, I just think we're, we're, this is going to be embedded into everything that we do and all glasses and everything else be before that many years. I can see it coming. Thank you so much. You can see it coming. But Dan, really much. good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you for very having much me. Indeed. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. You see, this is like living in Star Trek. Living in the future.